unfortunately, the quality of your education is defined by your zip code. And it's been that way for too very long. So I wanted to start a school that put young people in position to compete with their suburban public school counterparts, to compete with their private school counterparts for the same class and opportunities in college and or business, as well as career path. And that's why we call it Bridging the Education Gap. You can find Jalen Rules almost every day breaking down what's happening in the sports world on ESPN. He earned that spot on national TV after establishing a solid decade-long NBA career. But off screen, he's also an educator, lifting up disadvantaged youth through the Jalen Rose Leadership Academy, a public charter high school he launched in 2011 that provides a tuition-free education to students from his hometown. Here's why Jalen Rose made opening a school his next play. Jalen Rose trying to clear off the screen. It goes to Jalen. Rose spinning, pulls out the jumper. Yeah! Yes! And Reyes! Bulls! Bulls win this one! 44 big points for Jalen! I was always passionate about my education. And even though the world understood that I was a McDonald's All-American in high school and a member of the Fab Five in college. I was also an honor roll student in high school and made the Dean's List while I was in Michigan. By the time that JRLA had its inaugural class, you were already a couple of years into your work at ESPN. I'm curious about what convinced you that, first off, you had the energy to take on such a big project and that the energy was worth it. Well, giving back to my community was something I always wanted to do. The opportunity to influence high school young people really intrigued me because I felt like those years that you were in high school are obviously extremely important to your development. So we uniquely created what's now coined the nine through 16 model, where we currently have 400 young people that are in high school, but we also have another 600 or so that are alums that we influence via secondary education. Jalen says JRLA installs unique features that push students to achieve more, like an 11 month academic calendar and an emphasis on career readiness. As for the nine to 16 model, that is a feature that was partly inspired by the Detroit natives' own experiences in school. Is there something that you were missing when you were growing up that has inspired the things that JRLA does? Involvement in the young people's lives once they graduate from high school. The job isn't done. And so when you make that commitment, there has to be buy-in the entire journey. We now serve also as their support and fundraising for them to make sure they got the finances they need so they're not dropping out of school because they couldn't pay a $200 bill. These are the type of things that has now been a game changer for so many people that have been supporters of JRLA. And we're proud of the work that we've done, but like any commitment, there's still plenty of work to do. At the heart of Jalen Rose's work in education is a passion for leveling the playing field. Inner city schools are already underfunded, and that's not a surprise. But it's also one of those things that we kind of ignore. JRLA is an independent charter school, so Rose uses his celebrity to help raise funds from corporate sponsors like Jeep and high-profile contributors like Detroit Pistons legend Isaiah Thomas and the team's owner, Tom Gores. Still, Jalen says it's the support of the local community in Detroit that has been just as important in making his vision a reality. You see the ribbon cutting ceremony of JRLA. We weren't doing it because I had a big corporate sponsor standing behind me with a blank check saying, Jalen, the mayor, my godfather, Dave Bing was standing next to me and the community was there to believe in me as I was trying to put together a board and hire a staff and we were self-managed at the time. After 10 years, it's really gratifying to see so many young people that are chasing their goals and chasing their dreams. So the toughest thing is to do something that's never been done and turn it into a success.